Hello all, this video is on using DHT11 sensor with uh, ESP32 on MicroPython. DHT11 sensor has a built-in capacitive humidity sensor and a thermistor for temperature measurement. It gives both temperature and humidity value. It has got four pins. Th third pin is dummy and there is, uh, you should use a resistor between uh, VCC and data pin. If you are using a module then this uh, resistor is inbuilt and you have got only three pins. We use an OLED for uh, display purpose. The SCL of OLED is uh, connected to GPIO 22, SDA is connected to GPIO 21 and VCC to 3.3 volt and ground to ground. The data pin of uh, DHT11 is connected to GPIO 15. We will be using Thony Python for uploading and uh, developing code. First we will import uh, uh, pin and I2C class from uh, machine module. Pin is uh, for controlling GPO pins and I2C is to control the OLED. Then we import the DHT module. The data pin of DHT is connected to GPO 15. So we assign the GPO pin 15 and declare it as, uh, as input. Then we initialize the sensor by creating DHT instance on GPIO 15. Then we use the measure method. Then we print the uh, temperature value using temperature method and uh, humidity value using humidity method. It is uh, simple to get the temperature as well as the humidity value. Now let us see the actual program. Before that we have to uh, import the SST1306.py library for using with the OLED display. All links are given in the description below. You can download the SST1306.py file and then click on file open to import it to uh, Tony Python. This SST1306.py library uh, supports both I2C as well as SPA OLEDs. We are using I2C display OLED display. Save this file. Uh, save this on MicroPython device and uh, uh, provide the file name as ssd1306.py. Do not change this name. Save this onto ESP32. Now click on file new and then uh, import the uh, uh, sample program. The, uh, links uh, or given in the description below you can import it in this program we just uh, uh, use the classes pin i2c and then import the ssd 1306 uh, module and then dht module we create i2c instance uh, by passing on the scl pin 22 and the sda pin 21 and then we create the oled object by uh, using the ssd 1306 underscore i2c class by passing on 12864 that is the size of the OLED and I2C protocol and the address of the OLED. Use uh, GPU 15 to receive data from DHT11. So we assign this as uh, uh, to declare it as uh, input and then we initiate the DHT sensor by creating DHT instance on GPU 15. And a never ending loop we use the measure method and then we use the temperature method and humidity method to assign the respective values to T and H. We use the uh, print command to print the uh, data on uh, Tony Python uh, uh, monitor and we use the OLED uh, dot uh, fill and OLED dot text method to display it on the OLED display. Uh, while displaying text we have to convert the data to string. This is very important, otherwise uh, the data will not be displayed. Now you save this file onto uh, MicroPython. Provide the name as main.py. Do not change this name as uh, MicroPython will look for uh, boot.py initially and then it will execute the main.py. Click on the F5 button to execute. Now you can see the result. The result is displayed on the Tony Python uh, monitor as well as on the OLED uh, display. The, you can see the temperature and the humidity changing accordingly. Thank you for watching.